Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and welcome back to another Marvel Strike Force video. In this video, we have the final member of the Sinister Six. That's right, we've got Vulture. Vulture just hit today, so we're gonna go ahead and do an orb opening, level him up, take him into Blitz, take a look at his animations, and then we're gonna take a look at the whole Sinister Six team together now that they are all out. All right, but first, before we jump into all that, if you're just now finding this channel and you wanna stay up to date with this and other games, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. We have the Bird of Prey orbs. Let's go ahead. We're going to open them up, see what Vulture is all about. Now, we did have an opportunity to play with this character in the Rhino event, which is pretty cool. You got to play with all of them, really, except for Mysterio. And uh, we did a Mysterio opening uh, just last week. If you haven't seen that, then I'll go ahead and link it up right there. So you can go ahead and take a look at that. But this is the final Sinister Six character that we need in order to bring that full team together. Uh, it's also one of the newest teams where there is no legendary character. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we have. So we have six there. So the, um, the percentages are all the same. I haven't seen any differences in them at all. The lowest you can get is six, so we're guaranteed to at least unlock him. Uh, and I did not look to see if this was a 15 shard or a six, or a, a, a 15 shard or higher unlock. We got eight. We're not getting really good pulls here, mainly sixes. What do we got? We got a 10 here. We've got a couple more to do. But at least, you know what, we're going to get it unlocked. Get him unlocked. And that is it. So what did we get total? So 56 shards total. Uh, we've got just a bunch of blue gear. We didn't even get any purple gear at all. And we got 90,000 gold. Not going to take us too far, but we've got enough gold. I'm not worried about that. So let's go ahead, go out, unlock him. And there we go. He's just kind of standing there. Let's see his... Uh, there we go, cool, see. Not bad. Looks pretty cool. All right, so there we go, we're gonna recruit him. He is, okay, so he's a 45 shard unlock, he's not a 15 shard. So uh, a two star right off the bat. All right, let's go ahead and train him not to level seven we're going to take him to 60 just like we did everybody else so 1.3 right there all right there's his stats without any gearing up all right so what we're going to do now is we are going to go ahead and get him geared up should get him at least a tier tier eight um, again, all of my purple tier, uh, gearing, <laughs> gear materials have been uh, going towards my main raid team, so I've been having a little trouble getting these new characters up to gear tier 9, but uh, we'll get them up as high as I can, and uh, then we're going to have a little bit of fun and blitz. So, don't go anywhere, this is just going to take a second, because the editing process will make it super fast. Alright, don't go anywhere. Alright, are you still there? That was probably only half a second for you. Alright, so this is where... We've got Vulture right now. So he's gear tier nine. I was able to get him there. Barely, but I did it. Got all of his skills where I typically get them, six, 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 and four. So let's go ahead and take a look at this character. So Vulture preys on enemies with negative status effects while dealing extra damage to city heroes. His traits are, si are city, villain, tech brawler, spider-verse, and sinister six. Very cool. Let's take a look at his stats. I keep wanting to use my mouse. I'm not using blue stats right now. All right, so he's at 32K health. Um, Again, not fantastic, but take a look at what he is. He is, he's a brawler, so he should dish out some pretty decent damage because brawlers and blasters will typically do the most damage. He's almost 4K on his damage. Where he sits right now, level 60, gear tier 9. Uh, his armor's at 1721. Where's his speed at? His speed is at a 127, so it's up there a little bit. And then uh, there is his dodge and block and accuracy and all that stuff, so... That is who he is right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at his abilities. So lift off, attack primary target for 210% damage plus 30% additional damage per negative effect. So you really want to stack up those negative effects if you want to do the most damage. 
Also, uh, if you go ahead and max that out at level 7, you're going to add 40% additional damage to the primary target. So you're going to be up to 250% damage and add a 10% additional damage per negative effect. So you're going to be up to 40% additional damage per negative effect there. So that could stack up pretty good. All right. Next one, as far as orange material, not sure. Let's see what the other abilities are. Uh, let's see, attack primary and all adjacent targets for 240% damage plus 70% chance to apply slow. So there's a negative effect there. If target is a city hero, apply offense down for one to two turns. So there we go. We've got some uh, negative effects coming. You Oh, you go ahead and upgrade that to level seven. You're going to add 60% damage to the primary and secondary targets right there. So you're up to 300% damage right there. Always apply slow and then apply defense down to city heroes for two turns, period. Um, let's go ahead. You know what? Some of these really aren't, uh, the orange materials don't seem to really jump at me right now. But um, let's see. Attack all enemies for 260% da damage for his supersonic plus speed change speed bar by minus 20%. You go ahead and pump that up to level 7. You're going to do 60% damage to all the enemies. So you're at, what, 320%? And then uh, minus 25% to that speed bar. And then Scavenger, on spawn, fill 10% uh, fill speed bar. And then fill 10% speed bar, bar per city hero enemy. Um, and then on ally death, 70% chance to gain deflect. And then on enemy death, change speed bar by 10%. Gain plus 5% block for each city hero enemy. Obviously, I mean, that's the theme with this whole team is really to, to take down those city heroes. At level five, you're gonna always gain deflect on ally death. You're gonna add 15% speed bar to on enemy death. So you're gonna go from a 10% all the way up to a 25%. And then fuss, plus 5% plus block chance for each city hero enemy. So you have five, you got 25% there. Plus you have this. So you're up to 30% block chance right there, right off the bat. I think that right there, I think, is probably pretty good to put in. And, uh, you know, if I'm looking at orange material, uh, let's see. You know what? I, th I think the passives are typically pretty safe. Those are pretty good to put your, your orange material in. This one right here, attack all enemies, adding 60% extra damage. That's quite a bit. Uh, the ultimate, I think, is probably worth it as well. Plus, you decrease that speed bar. So, with your passive, you can increase it by increase your speed bar by 25% once you have that maxed out. And if you have a full city hero enemy team, and then you're also reducing on this one, reducing speed bar to all enemies. It doesn't matter who, all enemies by 25% if you max that out. So, I think that's pretty good as well. This one here, again, 60% damage. You know, as you know, as you're kind of adding up the damages and stuff like that, it really does. This uh, this guy really can do quite a bit of damage. That's 300% damage for that one, and you've got 300, 320% damage on this one. And then as far as liftoff goes, uh, that per negative effect, though, I guess it really depends on how many negative effects we have go up. I'd really have to kind of take a look at that. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and take him now on into Blitz, take a look at his animations. Blitz just started, so Blitz is pretty low right now, but... Uh, but uh, we'll see what he looks like and how that whole thing, how that whole team really comes together. So let's go ahead and jump over there right now. All right, and here we are. So we're in tier three right now. Here is the team, the full Sinister Six team, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and look for some city heroes here. We've got one in there. So uh, we got one there. Yeah. So I guess it could really be any one of these guys right now. Um. Let's go ahead and just jump into this battle right here and let's see how we do. All right, so here we go. We have the full team up. We've got the deflects up. We've got the counter up on Rhino right now. And then what do we have here? So this attack primary primary and all adjacent targets for 240% damage plus 70% chance to apply slow. If, a, if target is a city hero, then apply defense down for one to two turns. So we'll go and do that. And then uh, let's see, who are the adjacents? Is it just going to be those two? Yep, did those two. We got the slows as well. All right, we got shockers to generate, build the energy for himself and his offense up. So we're going to do that. Get that going. And then, so this one right here, attack all enemies for 290% damage, apply heal block. Uh, nobody here is healing. We do have uh, Scarlet Witch who can redistribute the health. That, uh, that'll that happen even with the heal block on. So let's see. Apply blind. Uh, you know what? Let's see. Who is that? Who can we blind? Let's go ahead and blind 
Wolverine over there. All right, and here we go. We're going to go ahead and attack. Do the ultimate here, attack all adjacent targets. We're going to get two attacks out of this, so one and two. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and do that taunt. Get rid of crossbones right there. Don't have anybody who can stealth, so we'll just use that on Hulk right there. And uh, now we have this. Oh, you know what? I didn't slow it down for Vulture. We need to slow it down for Vulture so we can take a look at that. So attack all enemies for 260% damage plus change speed bar by minus 20%. Let's go ahead and take that down to, to times one and see what that looks like. There we go. Nothing really major on that one. All right, we do have Shocker over here. Let's go ahead and get rid of Luke Cage. Uh, then we got uh, Vulture's Basic here. There we go, primary target for 210% damage. And then I add 30% additional per negative effect. We don't have any negative effects. We do the most damage. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Okay, really not too impressed with this guy. Now I do know, well, we're gonna use this just because it's cool. I love that. Uh, so last video when I was looking at Mysterio, I was really talking about how cool some of the some of the animations are. Mysterio's is really cool. Um, and uh, Rhino's, Rhino's borrows from, um, from Juggernaut. Carnage, I like Carnage stuff. I was using Carnage in that video. Some of Shocker stuff is okay. Um, and uh, Green Goblins, some of his is okay too. All right, so there we go. And we're just going to use this because we can. And there we go. All right, so we're going to keep doing a couple more battles and just uh, hopefully go across some defenders. We should come across some defenders here. Coming up, there we go. There's the defenders. Uh, about 15K da uh, difference in the power level. All right, so there we go. We're going to go ahead and times one for this right here. We are going to go ahead. This does what again? Uh, apply slow. Target series here, offense down. So we're just going to, we're going to, as always, go for Iron Fist first to see what that looks like. Okay, that's, so that's a pretty cool one. I like that animation. So we got some offense downs and a slow. We'll go ahead and times three everything now. All right, so let's go ahead and do the offense up. And then we are going to, um, actually since we did that slow, we can now use the Mysterio. So before when we didn't have Vulture, uh, we weren't able to use that slow in the very beginning and Danny would get his heal off right away. So let's go ahead and do the heal blocks. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and do Shocker's ultimate here. And then uh, this one here, what, uh, uh, all enemies, right? And change the speed bar. So we're gonna reduce them again. So you really, I mean, with, with all of this, and look at that, Mysterio died. I didn't even notice that. I'll have to go back and rewatch that when um, when I go through the editing. But Mysterio died, and uh, his uh, he summoned his duplicates there. All right, so let's go ahead and do the taunt. Get rid of Punisher over there. And then let's go ahead and get rid of Luke Cage. And there we go. So I didn't get to see, I wasn't paying attention. We'll see if it happens again. I wasn't paying attention to if you could control um, the, uh, the mirror images. I think they just attacked on their own, but we'll see. All right, let's see if we can do another City Hero team. There we go, we got this one. All right, so we are gonna go for, uh, let's see, she's a City Hero, so let's go ahead. We got the offense down over there. Get the offense up for everybody. Nobody here can do heals. So who can we do a blind on? We're gonna do a blind on Wolverine right now. Vulture's out. There we go, so we got one mirror image up there.
Boom, there we go there. Let's go ahead and just use the basic there. Yeah, we do, so, yep, so we can, we get one ability. What is it? Clear one to two positive effects, attack for every target for 140% damage. What one is that? Let's go ahead and go after that. Okay, so it's that attack from Mysterio. So you only get that one ability. And we go ahead and take care of them. There we go. Not too bad. I keep uh, I keep losing Mysterio. We lost Vulture that time. So definitely got to build them up. All right, here's a 94. It's pretty close. We'll see how we do against these defenders right here. Because I think Mysterio, when he dies, it's one to two, right? One to two mirror images. I might need to, and I may need to play with the positioning a little bit. All right, do the heel blocks. Oh, Vulture's gone again. Yeah, definitely got to do some uh, some work on that. This attacks adjacent allies as well, right? So that should take care of two of them. Go ahead and blind him. All right, and there you go, everybody. That's what I had for you today. So the Sinister Six, where they are right now in that 19 to 20K range, so I, my lowest is at what, 19,300? No, 18,293 with Mysterio, and my highest there is 21,225, I mean 255. So where they are right now, they do have some survivability um, concerns right now. So that kind of makes me wonder how well they can punch up and defeat higher level teams. So... Um, typically when you take your character in there and you fight uh, even level or even higher level teams and you're controlling your character, not auto, not auto play, um, you can typically punch up a little bit higher. But I'm not sure about this team just yet. But again, they are fairly low right now. So I do want to put a little bit more effort into them. I think I'm going to come out and I think I'm going to work on a Sinister Six video just by itself after I get them built up a little bit and see where we are uh, because the power levels and and the abilities and where they are. I mean, all their abilities are maxed out. Um, I just kind of, I want to work on them a little bit more, get them leveled up and uh, and really see how they do because they're really supposed to be a force to be reckoned with with the city heroes. And right now, Vulture, right now, Vulture and Mysterio are, are the ones that I have the most concern about just being a little bit squishy. So we'll see how it goes. But there you go, everybody. That's what I have for you tonight. As always, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everyone, and we'll talk to you next time.